Hello dear traders, my name is Alina, I'm a financial advisor at A Markets. Today I would like to share trading ideas for the current week. The last round of negotiations between the United States and China end even worse than expected. Donald Trump announced the introduction of a 10% tariff on Chinese goods, worth $300 billion from September 1st. At the same time, Trump declared that he wouldn't tighten the tariff even more if the negotiations reach an impasse. Trump is dissatisfied uh, that China doesn't follow its obligation and hasn't increased imports of agricultural products from the United States. Hasn't stopped selling uh, fentanyl uh, to the United States. Nevertheless, the President is ready to continue negotiations. We look forward to continuing our positive dialogue with China on a uh, comprehensive trade deal and feel that the future between our two countries will be a very bright one, Trump tweeted. Uh, China uh, threatens uh, to report uh, aggressively to protect its interests. For the first time in, two, in 10 years, uh, the United States Federal Reserve has lowered its uh, uh, key interest rate by 25 basis points to 2.25%. Powell added that according to the Fed, lowering the uh, rate by uh, 25 basis points is enough to support the American economy. The President considers the actions of the Fed chief uh, insufficient. As uh, usual, Powell lets us down, but at least uh, he's uh, ending a quantitative uh, tightening with, which shouldn't have started in the first place. No inflation. We are running uh, anyway, but I'm certainly not getting much help from the Federal Reserve. Gold updates uh, 213 uh, uh, highs. From the summer consolidation uh, in the range of uh, $1,380 uh, to uh, $1,420, uh, the S climbed high and continued to grow. We recommend holding a long position until gold is above the 38.2% uh, FIBA at $1,380. The profit target is uh, $1,480. If growth continues, then the next target will be found at $1,580. The euro dollar almost reached the 1.10 mark, but the latest news uh, led to the certain pair down. The Cayman indicator speed uh, out uh, of the hourbot zone, which can indicate a trend reversal. We can see uh, interest bullish activity on the 4-hour chart. It gives us all reason to expect growth at least to the upper border of the channel. Uh, then if uh, it's broken and the euro dollar will rise above the EMA 50 and the EMA 200, we are waiting for the price to recover to 1.13 level. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and Global and follow the main news on the financial markets.